Hey, what's up guys? It's Eternal Pain here. I'm standing over top of the tree farm that I built in my last video and I figured today I would go and make a gunpowder factory in order to supply me with the TNT that I need to sustain this. Um, also, we need lots of firework rockets, so... Alright, I'm, I'm going to be time-lapsing parts of this video so that I can actually show the building process. I figured it would be kind of interesting to do, and it's something I really haven't done yet. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and if you do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. Okay, so I've been flying around the ocean here for a little bit looking for a good spot to build a creeper farm. Uh, I want to build it over the water so that I don't have to worry about clearing out a big quarry around the farm. Um, I found this nice little island here that's not really surrounded by much. There is a ocean monument over there, but that'll come in handy later because I can have my creeper farm here and then I can build a guardian farm over that way. So. I'll come back later and construct this farm once I get all the materials that I need. I have shulker boxes here that are filled with a bunch of materials already, but there are a few more things that I need, so I'm going to fly back to my base, which is about 5,000 blocks that way, and then I'll come back and get started. So in a previous video, I had a comment down below from Liam. And uh, I figured I would respond to that comment with an answer. So he asked me what the greatest moment in my life was. And if I'm being completely honest, I have to say that that was the day I married my wonderful wife, Amanda. She's been by my side through everything and very supportive in everything I've tried to do and accomplish. And I couldn't ask for a better person to spend my life with. So... Amanda, I know you're probably watching this right now. I love you very much, and I couldn't be happier with you, and I'm looking forward to many, many happy years with you. Sure. Although, in a couple of months, if Liam would have waited to ask me that question, I would have had another moment that I would have made reference to. My beautiful baby daughter, is expected to be here and me and Amanda couldn't be happier because we we both wanted a little girl and that's what we're getting and beautiful little Tia Lorene will be here at the end of August now I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this time lapse and laugh at me whenever I make a mistake because I made several in the process of this build Okay, minus a slight technical hiccup with the redstone over there. Um, all the floors are in place. Now I just need to place a bunch of trap doors and put a roof on this to where it extends out and casts shadow over the entire build. Um, didn't take me quite as long as I thought it would, but uh, I do like the fact that I had enough iron blocks to do all of this. Um, I'm going to put some slabs down here so no mobs spawn on the bottom and... I need to take all that scaffolding out of there. Anyway, I'm going to the I'm going to go get the uh 
the final materials that I need for this, and then I'll be back in a jiffy. All right, so it's a brand new day, and I'm back on the server. I, uh, I took out the corners on each one of these platforms because I realized after I built it that even though I'm going to have four cats in the center of each level, which I have to breed those guys up, uh, the creepers wouldn't run far enough to come off of the corner. So I've, I've made every platform circular, and now I'm going to build up walls around this whole thing so that... I can contain the creepers so they don't fall out of the farm when they drop. So anyway, I'm going to get into doing that real quick. And here's another awesome time lapse. So I just finished putting all the trap doors, the hundreds and hundreds of trap doors, and all the carpet, the hundreds and hundreds of carpet, and I need to make the roof a little wider, so I'm going to do that, and then I'll come back and hopefully, hopefully, I will be spawning creepers very, very soon, because right now I have everything lit up. Oh, 
yeah, I still have to put the cats in there, and I only have a couple to breed down here because I have more in there. So yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. Okay, so after hours and hours of placing trapdoors and carpet and breeding cats and positioning cats, I have finally made this thing to where it will spawn and harvest creepers and gunpowder. I'm happy with the way it turned out. I decided not to do the glass aesthetic. Uh, around the sides like I originally intended to because I have another little project in mind that I want to do. Dare I say it will be cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm, overall I'm happy with how this thing turned out and I've got all my platforms are exactly the same except for the color of which cat's sitting in which place but I'm, I'm not that big on details. Um, if I come over here I've got nice little system every time that hopper minecart that's going around in there is full it'll trigger this detector rail right here pop up into the unloading station gate closes holds the minecart in place and these two hoppers right here will empty the minecart um, down underneath I have a little bit of a storage silo it's nothing huge I've just got I think five chests here yeah five and uh, Got a crafting table up there so that I can make more firework rockets if I bring some paper over here. Um, not sure how much gunpowder is in here right now. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> that's quite a bit. I haven't been AFKing in this thing very long. Uh, so uh, anyway, like I said, I have another little project planned and. It's, it's for my AFK chamber because I don't want it to just be like a little wooden box in the sky like my slime farm where I have just a little wooden box off to the side. It's going to be way up there in the sky to where the spawning sphere around my character will max out in its width just underneath this tower. So... I'm gonna go build that real quick and then I'll give you guys a nice little surprise. Oh, also I got a Riptide Trident. This thing is amazing. I love it and I fly so fast. I'm so glad I have a decent computer otherwise these, these chunks would be struggling to load in right now. So anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get back to work. I'm having too much fun. Alright, so here we are a couple hours later, and I bet you guys wonder why I'm standing on a dirt block in the middle of the air over the ocean. Well, I told you I had a nice little surprise for you, and I'm actually quite proud of this. I'm, I'm a straight up nerd when it comes to this kind of stuff, but isn't it adorable? <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, this is this is my new AFK chamber. I uh, carved out a spot in the creeper's brain <laughs> where uh, I've got a little bed. I've, I've got a couple shulker boxes in there right now and an ender chest, but uh, I'm going to end up taking the shulker boxes out. But I'm going to have a bed in my ender chest there, and I've got some trap doors in the mouth where I can close it up when I'm AFKing there so nothing can get in there and kill me. Um, I... <laughs> I'm super happy with how this thing turned out. It's 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 amazing. It's probably my favorite little home away from home that I've ever made in Minecraft. It's uh all the way around. I've got it glass blocks on the outside and then a layer of slime blocks and then it's got um magma blocks on the inside to kind of make it look like the creeper's getting ready to explode and in the top it kind of looks like his brain. So yeah, when I, uh, if I can get it on the first try, oh, hey, there we go. Yeah, when I fly inside here, it looks like I've carved out a little home inside the creeper's brain. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's my AFK chamber for my creeper farm. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, I spent so long on this, and I'm so happy with how it turned out.
it just looks amazing. I gotta fly around it, look a couple more times, check the durability on my Elytra because I'm still quite a ways from my actual base. But yeah, I've got it. It's about 120 blocks uh, from ground level at the farm. Um, yeah, that'll put my sphere into the ground a little bit, but I've already made sure that there is no spawnable blocks under the farm or around the farm in any way, shape, or form. So it's just all ocean and air, and that's going to make things... I'm sorry, I'm just infatuated with this build. I love it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, that that's going to make it to where if I stand exactly in the middle of that, then I'll be right over top of the center of the farm, and that'll give me my maximum spawning of creepers. So, at least I'm hoping. Uh, I don't know, after standing up there on just an iron platform, it seemed to do pretty well. So, th yeah, that's where I decided to make my, my AFK platform. And it looks like a little tiny baby creeper. Okay, so I may have miscalculated on exactly how much gunpowder this thing creates because now I'm alone on the server and I've been AFKing for about two and a half hours and I have almost four and a half double chests full of gunpowder. I'm extremely happy with how much this produces. So, uh... If anybody wants me to do a tutorial on how I built this farm, then, uh... Just let me know down in the comments, and I would be more than happy to do so. <laughs> I just noticed from this angle here, it looks like I launched a creeper off of a spring pad. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It, it was a painstaking build, and it took me a while to do, but it's well worth it. Now we've got gunpowder for the entire server, and I've got plenty of gunpowder to make TNT for the other TNT base farms that I plan on building. So anyway, don't forget to drop a like down below, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite part of this video was. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day now.